Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm also going to talk about DB and W tools which is something that you can get if you become a patron so check that out in this case I'm going to talk about the PBR text to set a node and I'm actually going to use this particular content uh, because this is the content that I created while testing this tool and it really speeds up uh, the workflow if you are using the PBR workflow. So let's get started. Uh, first and foremost, uh, let's go into Modeler. I'm actually going to close all of this down because one of the things to know is that there are two ways to import an FBX, the correct way and the incorrect way. Usually what we did was just use load object and then you selected the FBX. In this case, we have it here and I opened that and it's going to ask for textures. I just say no, no or cancel. Okay. We can see that there's something odd going on with the, with the shading here, right? We can see here that uh, this doesn't look correct and that's because most FBX files actually contains um, vertex normals or smoothing groups that are then converted into vertex normals so uh, if I would um, close this so instead of importing it like that what you should do is to go to lo load ob object import and use the interchange format once you do that you pick the read file, there we have it, and hit OK. What you see here on the left, or, or the right, I mean, you see what that FBX contains, uh, and then on the left, you can see what Lightwave, lay or Modeler in this case, already has in, uh, in its memory. What you do here is you find the objects down here, and you can shift select them like that and just press this button here and it will add them uh, in this case it will just combine them into a single mesh you can see that it already done that sort of and then you can just uh, close this one but now you can see that you have proper normals going on so this is the first thing to think about when actually importing a new fbx once you've done that, you can save the object, of course, as an LW. Uh, what, what I should show, show, show here is, of course, if I go to the surface editor, you can see that there's a vertex normal map here, and you should make sure that you select that one uh, to make it look even better. So once you've done that, you can save the object, and then you can jump into layout and uh, do all the texture work there. So I'll just close everything here and jump into layout and here let's just load i have created like a default object here that doesn't contain any textures because i want to go through a little bit what it is like if you don't have the texture workflow uh, or the pbr node so if i open the surface editor we have two surfaces we have one for the armor cloth and one for the armor metal so let's start with the cloth so image editor and let's pop that one up so let's load and let's go for the clean because all here's another thing with, with this particular prop is that it actually comes with three different texture sets battered clean and, and worn so I'm, I'm just going to stick to clean here to actually showcase a couple of things uh, first of all what it is like not to have the tool, uh, which is in this case, I'm going to cloth or original here and I'm going to load all these textures. And also a very important thing when working with PBR texture set and a linear color space workflow pr pr properly at this time is to go to the color space tab in the preference and make sure that you use the sRGB preset here because that will actually take care of all the textures and all the, the curves so that when you output to an EXR it's going to be linear and it's going to be as good as it can get you know for compositing if you stick to let's say just linear 
uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works because uh, ever since the linear call space workflow, we all, always used the sRGB preset, and that actually worked very well with the compositing in uh, inside of Nuke, for example. So, but this is the workflow I use. So then I have the textures for the cloth. So if I open the node editor, uh, oops. Uh, so here we have the shader connected to material, and then uh, what what you need to do here is essentially to well, I know that I have a normal map, so we'll add that. But then I also know that we have a regular um, image map. Uh, so we have that. So what I need to do is to click here. Uh, I, I should select the UV map here, of course. And I should do the same for the normal map, so I don't forget that. So for... This one, I'm going to say it's going to be the base color. So I connect that. And now we can see that it actually updates in the viewport. So once I've done that, I just copy paste. And I will go and say, okay, so this is going to be the uh, rough, roughness texture. So I take the luminosity from that and bring it into roughness. Can minimize these two now, like that. And then we have, uh, let's see here, we have the metallic that needs to be connected to the metallic input there. And then we have the normal map that actually should be connected not to the shader, but to the normal input on the surface. And that's because Otherwise, some buffers might not see the normal map if it's connected to the shader input. So put it on the surface input. And let's see here. I need to select the normal here. Uh, yeah. So everything is connected now. But here comes the other thing. So if I, if I turn on VPR here, we can see that something doesn't really look correct here on the feet. Okay, so you want my, is it wrong with the UV map or what is going on? No, that's because, of course, all these textures that are data textures, so especially, essentially all of these except for the base color, they need to be in linear mode. So linear, linear. So now you get a correct setup, okay? So, okay, we have set up the, the cloth. So let's just copy and paste. So, of course, this is not going to look uh, sane in a way. But here we can now go in and say, okay, here we need to have the clean uh, armor uh, instead of uh, cloth. Uh, we want to have the metal, right? So I go here, load image. And I want to have the clean metal and this is the base color and then here we have clean metal and this is going to be the roughness and here it is the metallic texture uh, where is it metallic there it is and then we have the the normal map as well uh, which is this one here okay and again you can see that everything looks like crazy here because i need to go into the image editor and of course now that i've loaded a bunch of new files here i need to select those and set them to linear and now we have a proper setup oops But then, of course, since this object actually comes with um, two or even three texture sets, you don't really want to have to deal with this every time. Okay, okay. what you could do, of course, is to make this a compound and call it, uh, let's say, clean. So make a compound of this, and then you 
make another setup for the for the battered for example and you make a compound on that and then a third compound for the third texture set but that that means that you will load a lot of textures every time you load this object if texture or member is an, an issue <laughs> or could be an issue if you have lots of texture sets and you want to be flexible with that so there is another of course an obvious tool and that i'm going to show you now that helps with this a lot and that is the pbr texture node okay so let's um, uh, let us just um, clear the scene so let's use the pbr texture set node instead so i'm just going to load this one again because it doesn't have any textures uh, perspective view so surface editor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this one here and instead of actually adding those image loaders i just look for so just add that one and here you get the interface for that so the first thing you need to do obviously depending on <clears throat> well you need to go to the configure here to actually tell what file name separation is based uh, is, is it underscores is, is it whatever you know what the base color is called it, it is recommended that you use if you're using the native lightwave render engine it is it, it's i think it's best to try to stick to the metal uh, roughness metal um, or metallic workflow instead of the uh, diffuse specular workflow but yeah what you can do here is essentially just tell it what textures to look for so to speak uh, so once you have set that up so that it works in your to say your production environment uh, what you do is you, you click on load textures and so again i am on the cloth right now so i should go to clean and then cloth original and i just click on any of these textures and it will load them in uh, based on their naming convention as you can see here so now it's just a matter of taking the base color to color the metallic to metallic I should probably zoom in a little bit here so <laughs> and then it is the let's see here what more do we have where's the roughness there's the roughness roughness to roughness and then the normal to the normal input on the surface input like that okay so i will just copy this one and go here I'll paste i will do the same thing but in this case i'm going to go uh, not presets uh, load textures and in this in this case i want to be it be the metal so just just click on any of these surfaces or textures i mean or i could have saved even more time if i actually would just have copied the surface instead but right right now i need to connect these as well so uh metallic roughness normal like so and of course if i turn on vpr now everything will look kind of crazy right and that's because of the color space again on the textures so if i open the image editor so i want to select all the data textures like that and just set them to linear instead and now we are back to where we were before but this time it was much faster because instead of having to deal with all the image loaders i could now just do this instead but there's one more thing you can do to speed this up a little bit because let's just say that okay i want to load another texture set let's go for the cloth first so we want to load another texture set so let's go load textures and instead of the clean i want to use the worn instead and what you can see here what i've done is i have converted all the data textures into exr files the only texture that isn't an exr file is the the base color here 
And there is a good reason for that. Uh, so if I load this one, click on that. So what happens here is that since I have set this color preset here to sRGB, what happens is that uh, in image editor is that all the PNG files, no matter if they are data textures or not, they are 8-bit and will be treated when they are imported as default. And that's wrong for data textures. So now when I imported these uh, EXR files, as you can see, they are set to default, but the default behavior, again, thanks to the sRGB preset here, is that it's going to be treated in a linear space because it's an uh, a well, it's a very high bit depth texture, so it's going to say, oh, it's a linear texture then. So that means that I don't have to fiddle around making sure that the the textures are in the correct uh, color space because they will come in correctly uh, when I import like that. So this was the worn cloth. So if I go here. Uh, uh, load texture set. I want to go to Wern Metal and just pick, click on any texture. But yeah, they take a little bit longer to, to open, of course, because they are, right now, they are actually converted to full float. I, I think that 16 bit, bit float would be enough. That should save up some, some time, but hey. So now, as you can see, I have change both texture sets and they all look correct. So if I would um, if I would clear this scene now because I want to open another scene here that I've prepared which with an HDR. So let's open that one. Uh, let's see now we are in camera mode. Uh, well that, that should work. So as you can see this, this is now lit by an uh, HDR, I probe or whatever it's. Can't remember what I actually used here. Uh, let me see. Okay, it's uh, an image world texture like that. So again, if I would want to change the texture set here, so double click on that. Hello textures, and I don't know if, if, if which this one is. So let's go for the clean. And I go for clean fixed because here I have done the EXR conversion of all the data textures. Oh, I loaded the, let's see here. What did I load? I loaded the, the wrong texture. I loaded the armor texture set or the metal texture set onto the cloth. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Cloth fixed. But as you can see, this speeds up the workflow a lot because uh, yeah, it's easy to switch between different textures. So, okay, now I have the clean cloth. So let's go here. Uh, and let's go texture set. And I want to have the clean metal fixed and it i guess it's already loaded so that's essentially what i wanted to show you guys the pbr texture set node from db and w so cheers and thanks for watching